One of the things that's really cool about working at Montgomery College is when we notice something that affects our students adversely, we do something about it. Uh, we're famous for putting together groups and task force to address things on student achievement. So now I'm very pleased to get an update on one of those efforts and join me in welcoming the co-chairs of the Closing the Achievement Gap Task Force, Dr. Tony Hawkins and Professor Hilda Smith, who will brief us on this committee's good work. Dr. Hawkins, Professor Smith. Thank you, Dr. Stewart. Um, welcome, welcome back. Um, on behalf of um, the Closing the Achievement Gap uh, task groups, um, Professor Smith and I would like to update you on the work that we have been doing in our, in our uh, two very large groups. Um, we have approximately a membership of 80 people. Um, there are two groups, one closing the achievement gap for African American students, and the second is closing the achievement gap for Latino, Latina students. Um, two very large groups, divide it in half. Um, within that, those groups, we have themes, and we're working on um, uh, solving this issue uh, according to, uh, to themes. Uh, we're led by a steering committee, um, and really the, the, the roots and foundation of what it is that we're doing is not just in trying to close or bridge the gap um, of achievement for uh, underrepresented groups, um, but this is an initiative and drive that, that is a focus of the county, um, so a lot of what we do is really measured and reported to, to the county. Um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll follow a, a PowerPoint, um, a series of PowerPoint slides um, to really give you some uh, supporting documentation about what it is that we're doing. Um, the achievement gap in Montgomery County, and this is according to the Office of Legislative Oversight, um, their report from uh, March of 2013, uh, the achievement gap is measurable. Um, it's, uh, it refers to disparities in educational performance between low performing students and high performing students. Um, it also uh, pretty much compares the performance of white, Asian, and higher income students to black, Latino, and lower income students. Um, and this gap and this distinction is referred to as the achievement gap. Uh, what our group has been doing is we've been looking at um, evidence of the achievement gap in student success in a variety of contexts. So our students in the courses that they take, the services that they receive, uh, their work outside of the, the college and, and within the community to themselves. Um, not only is there an achievement gap, but there's also an opportunity gap, which is the next slide. And the opportunity gap pretty much says that um, when we look at, at educational attainment, it's more than just the educational ability, it's, it's also access or unequal access to key educational resources both inside and outside of school um, as they relate to race, as they relate to class, and as they relate to culture. Um, so we've been working on, um, on working on measurable differences and how we can um, make that me those measurable differences smaller, um, focusing more specifically on um, Latino, Latina students, um, as well as African American students. Thank you, Dr. Hawkins. The achievement gap is important enough that it has been identi identified as part of the Montgomery College 2020 strategic plan. And we have been charged with addressing this issue through data, research, best practices, and as a result, a big um, group has been formed. There was a call for volunteer, and we are very thankful for all of you who step up and volunteer to serve in, the, in both groups. As you're going to see later, this group is comprised of members from every uh, part of the college, uh, current students, alums, faculty, staff, administrators, and members of the community. In, most importantly, uh, our partners, uh, MCPS, and the universities at Shady Grove, uh, nonprofits such as Identity. So we are working together and trying to be inclusive. And if there is someone that still feels that their department or discipline is not represented, please let Tony or I know. This is a dynamic process, it's an ongoing process, and we welcome um, all of the feedback that we, can, that we can get. As I said, we got a charge from Dr. Walker-Grafia and Dr. Pearl to address the gap. 
And the way that we are to address the gap is by looking closely at research, best practices, data, and to come back with solutions and propose a implementation plan, which is due to Dr. Walker Grafia and Dr. Perro by December 2nd of this uh, coming semester. The way that we have organized ourselves is a large group, as Tony shared with you, and as a result, we created a steering committee. And that steering committee came about by dividing the larger group into smaller groups. And those groups are uh, what happens inside the classroom, which is the second one, teaching and learning, the curriculum. The first one is our Montgomery College students, who they are, what are their talents, and what are their challenges, and what are the things that they bring to us, and how we can best serve them. Uh, the third one is the student involvement, what happens outside of the classroom that complements what happens inside of the classroom, pair up with uh, civic engagement, which is how the, our partners in the community and the people who work with our students outside of the college also have an impact in closing that gap. And after that, we have the counseling and advising uh, component, financial aid, grants and scholarships, and then an overarching one, which is measuring outcomes and benchmarks. So this is a very involved uh, task force. We have a very dedicated group of um, colleagues who are working even throughout the summer. There, there has been a lot of meetings going on, a lot of data collection, a lot of research, and we look forward to um, regrouping as early as uh, Thursday where we have our next meeting. There is a steering committee, as I said, and Tony is going to share with us the, the membership of the groups and how you can collaborate and help us. And ahead of time, thank you to all of you who have been doing the work. And the, the, the job is in very competent hands, and we are very thankful to all of you who are uh, contributing. Um, our steering group um, is made up of the chairs of the various uh, theme groups. So uh, we have two chairs from each of the theme groups that make up our steering committee, um, as well as the two of the Dean of Student Development, um, as uh, well as research, research, research members, uh, who are uh, resource members to the committee as well, um, and Hilda and myself. Um, we'd like, we also have two librarians on our group, um, and they're pretty much the collectors of all the information and data. Uh, we've created two lib guides that will be open and, and accessible to all of the members of the college community. So you can follow along um, with what literature and, and the foundational materials that we've collected uh, will all be posted. We'll have discussions on the material as well. You're more than welcome to, to join us and, and have those kinds of conversations. Um, they'll begin this, this semester. Um, I'd like to flash a slide. Uh, if we can just jump to the next slide. Um, th these are the members of our task group. So you can see we have uh, not only one slide, but we have a second slide as well. So we have quite a few uh, members of our group. Um, is there a third? Because I think you see we stop at ours. Yeah, there's a third. Um, you can imagine m much of what Hilda and I have been doing is organizing and getting, getting people to meetings and getting meeting spaces large enough uh, for 85 people to gather. Um, and we realize that there aren't that many spaces at Montgomery College that are that size. Um, we, uh, if, if you are a member of the task group, we'll ask that you stand so that you can be recognized and people know who you are. Um, please. Please. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and finally, uh, the next step for us is we're looking for programs, events, or activities um, that you're currently doing, um, initiatives that you may have um, in closing the achievement gap. Uh, we'll be sending out a survey or a, an email with a survey link to it um, to, to really get an understanding of what's currently happening in, in our attempts to, uh, to close the, the achievement gap for African American and Latino Latina students. Uh, thank you for your time and have a very good academic year. Thank you.